The young girl's body was found on Saturday wrapped in a trash bag underneath a mattress inside of her family's Pasadena apartment. A home is supposed to be a place where everyone feels safe enough to let their guards down. But what happens when evil finds its way in? Today, we delve into the horrific case that sent shockwaves through the quiet streets of Pasadena, Texas. The devastating story of Maria Gonzalez, an innocent 11-year-old girl whose life was tragically extinguished by the sinister actions of her 18-year-old neighbor. In a quiet neighborhood of Pasadena, Texas, a devastating crime shook the community. The life of 11-year-old Maria Gonzalez was tragically cut short, leaving her family and the local authorities searching for answers. This case of heinous violence involving the violence and murder of a young girl has sparked outrage and an intense determination to bring the perpetrator to justice. Pasadena, Texas is known for its friendly neighborhoods and a strong sense of community. Residents would have never imagined that their peaceful existence would be shattered by a gruesome crime. It all started when the bright and cheerful Maria went missing one fateful evening. The close-knit community rallied together in a desperate search for the young girl, hoping against hope that she would be found unharmed. As the hours marched on, the neighborhood's anxiety deepened. Suspicion began to swirl and the focus shifted uncomfortably close to home when investigators discovered unsettling evidence linking Maria's disappearance to her 18-year-old neighbor, Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez. The evidence against Juan continued to mount and the community grappled with the horrifying reality that one of their own might be responsible for Maria's disappearance. But as the case unfolded, it begged a chilling question. What could drive an 18-year-old to commit such a terrible crime, especially against an innocent young girl? Little Maria Gonzalez had a radiant smile that lit up a room. Her laughter was so infectious that others around her could not help but chuckle too. It's clear that Maria had been the heartbeat of her father's world and by extension, her little community. There's no doubt that she was a source of boundless joy in her small, tight-knit family. She lived at an apartment complex in Pasadena, Texas with her dedicated father, Carmelo Gonzalez. She was a young, caring, and lovable Guatemalan little girl with a bright future ahead of her. On August 12, 2023, Carmelo left Maria home at 9.45 a.m. when he made his way to work. Carmelo was a doting father who wanted to give his girl the best life possible. So he would often work hard, long hours to ensure that Maria had everything she needed and more. But this meant that she sometimes had to stay home alone during the day while her dad was at work. Now, the 11-year-old being home alone was not out of the ordinary. His daily routine had become a familiar one in the community. He would leave for work, a sense of responsibility weighing on his shoulders, knowing that he had to provide for Maria. He often worked long hours, but he did so with the unwavering belief that he was securing a bright future for his daughter. Since there were so many people around, Carmelo had a slight sense of ease in leaving Maria at home alone, especially since Carmelo's brother and sister-in-law lived in the same complex. Maria had grown accustomed to these mornings alone. She likely knew that her father was only doing it because he loved her and had no other choice. There was no sign that she ever complained about having to spend time by herself while her father was at work. Just as any other kid her age, Maria probably spent her days filled with schoolwork, drawing colorful pictures, and playing with her favorite stuffed animals, all the while knowing that she is safe within the familiar environment of their apartment complex. However, Carmelo did not know that this regular morning would be the last time he saw his baby girl alive. The sense of security he felt within their community would soon be shattered. The place he and Maria called home was usually a place of comfort and familiarity, shared with not only family, but also with neighbors who had eventually become like family themselves. As he headed to work on that sunny August day, he couldn't have anticipated the horrors that were waiting for him back at home. Now, the entire community is left with a dark cloud hanging over them. The events of that day would forever alter the lives of those who knew and loved Maria Gonzalez, leaving them with soul-crushing grief and a sense of loss so great it felt like an anchor. Shortly after Carmelo left for work, he received a text from Maria stating that there was someone knocking at the door. 
Responding quickly, Carmelo told his daughter not to answer the door, to which she replied that she would not. Maria decided to stay in bed and ignore the person at her front door, and that was the last Carmelo heard from her. Naturally, the text message from Maria left Carmelo with a growing sense of unease as the minutes turned into hours. His fatherly instincts kicked into high gear as worry and fear gnawed at him. Why had she texted him about someone at the door? Why wasn't she responding now? Time rolled on and Carmelo's panic began to set in. After calling Maria multiple times and getting no response, he decided the best plan of action would be to call his brother and his wife so that they could check on Maria. They rushed to Maria's apartment, their hearts pounding with concern. When they got there, Maria was nowhere to be found. What they did find sent shivers down their spine. The front door to the apartment was unlocked, which was unusual for the regular routine of ensuring the place is secure. The inside of the apartment was a bit in disarray with objects scattered around haphazardly. The regular joy and peace that once lived within those walls was disrupted. Nothing was where it usually was, and the implications of something sinister happening was more than anyone wanted to think about. Of course, when Carmelo learned of his missing child, he immediately called 911 and rushed home. His world seemed to crumble around him. Fear and anguish filled the apartment as they continued to search for Maria. Searching the house, he stumbled upon a scene that would change his life forever. There, hidden beneath Maria's bed, he found his precious daughter, lying, her unresponsive body, wrapped in a plastic bag inside a laundry basket. The 11-year-old's body found wrapped in a trash bag, put in a laundry basket underneath a mattress. The Pasadena Police Department and its first responders' arrival marked the beginning of an intense investigation into this horrifying tragedy. The apartment complex on Main Street, once a symbol of safety and community, was now at the core of a heartbreaking mystery. At that moment, Carmelo's worst fears were confirmed as the details of Maria's final moments began to unfold. Maria was pronounced dead at the scene of the crime. After further examination of the body, the medical examiner found that the 11-year-old had been ethnic and passed away due to strangulation. Of course, not only was Carmelo distraught, but the community at large. The entire community was gripped by sorrow and anger, demanding justice for Maria. Investigators immediately began searching for answers, desperate to find any clue. They painstakingly combed through the evidence, and during all the chaos, a key surfaced. A key that didn't belong to the Gonzalez family, but it matched the make and model of all the keys used within the complex. This was a crucial piece of the puzzle that might play an important role in bringing Maria's perpetrator to justice. Now, remember that suspicious key found at the scene of the crime? Well, this was the main thing used to bust this case wide open. Knowing that Maria Gonzalez had been taken from her family far too soon and in such a cruel manner, the Pasadena Police Department was determined to get justice for the family and let the little girl rest in peace. The investigation quickly turned its focus toward identifying potential suspects and gathering crucial evidence. Authorities faced the challenge challenging task of piecing together the evidence leading up to Maria's death and finding those responsible for the heinous act. The key told detectives that their suspect was most likely someone in the community. Discovering that the key matched one of the other apartment units, authorities moved quickly and found that there were three people supposed to be living there. 18-year-old Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez and his two roommates. Upon speaking to the roommates, authorities discovered that Juan was a dangerous individual. The roommates pointed out that he moved out about two days after Maria was found. Understandably, they thought he was acting suspiciously and asked him for the key, and he refused, claiming he would hold on to it. Panicking, the roommates had the locks changed so that he could not get back in. The detectives used the key found in Maria's home and matched it to the old apartment locks. A key found at the crime scene works on a door where Juan had been staying. That key has been um, crucial in um, helping us uh, move this case forward. Knowing that Juan was the number one suspect, the roommates distanced themselves from him, claiming that they only knew him for about a month. Now, the investigation quickly progressed and the police released a statement naming Juan as a person of interest in Maria Gonzalez's case. With that, a warrant was issued for his arrest and the authorities made major efforts to locate him. Not only did Juan prematurely end a life 
but there was no telling if he would do it again. So this was an urgent matter and he needed to be brought to justice. The 18 year old was found and arrested in Shreveport, Louisiana and charged with capital murder. Making sure this was a solid case, his DNA was tested and it matched the one taken from the crime scene. They got him. The 18 year old was on the run for nearly a week before being captured and held in Shreveport, Louisiana, then brought back here to Texas to the Pasadena Police Department yesterday. The arrest of Juan Carlos Garcias Rodriguez brought a sense of release to the Gonzalez family. In a statement released by Carmelo, he expressed his gratitude to the Pasadena and Louisiana Police Departments for their their diligent work in catching the monster who took his daughter from him. Carmelo made one final request, that is for justice to be served and for the full weight of the law to rain down on Juan for the unspeakable crime committed against Maria. This statement read, may he be burdened with the full weight of the law for what he has done to my daughter. Maria's horrifying ordeal not only destroyed the hearts of her family, but the surrounding communities of Pasadena and Houston, Texas at large. Understandably, friends and neighbors were stunned to learn that one of their own could do something so heinous. Of course, they struggled to comprehend that anyone, let alone a teenager, could do the crime he was accused of committing. No one could come to terms with the fact that someone that was seemingly harmless could take someone's life as though it was nothing. As the case unfolded, the community was gripped by a mixture of anger, sadness, and confusion. People asked themselves how someone so young could be driven to commit such a heinous act. Was it the result of a terrible upbringing or some other dark motive that had yet to be uncovered? Even more, how could someone do this to an innocent little girl who did nothing but bring smiles to their faces? Neighbors, friends, and concerned citizens rallied together offering support to the grieving family and providing any information they could to aid the investigation. The collective grief and determination to seek justice ripped throughout the neighborhood as residents joined forces in the quest to find answers and make their community safe again. Justice for Maria Gonzalez became the rallying cry for the community. The trial of Juan would become a focal point of national attention as the details of the crime scene shocked the nation. But even as justice was served, the community is still in shambles and wondering how they can be there for the Gonzalez's and heal from such a traumatic event. Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez was in a Harris County court early this morning where a judge denied him bail on capital murder charges. The tragic events surrounding Maria Gonzalez's death have brought attention to the need for increased safety measures within communities. It serves as a stark reminder of the importance of having a secure environment for children and vulnerable individuals. Her family, in their heart-wrenching grief, sought solace in their community's support. This horrific act brought the neighborhood closer together in ways they could have never anticipated as they rallied together to honor Maria's memory. The small community in Pasadena stood united strongly against such acts of violence. The case also brought the shortcomings of the criminal justice system to the forefront. Many wondered how Juan could have slipped through the cracks and whether there were warning signs that may have been missed in his early life. I mean, if his roommates were concerned, then clearly there was something off about the guy. Was there something that could have been done to prevent this in the first place? Conversations sparked about the significance of vigilant neighbors, improved surveillance systems, and the collective responsibility to protect those who cannot protect themselves. The community decided to do something to mourn Maria's passing. So a candlelit vigil was held with a large turnout of at least 100 people in attendance, family and strangers alike. Tonight, an emotional candlelight vigil for 11-year-old Maria Gonzalez. This massive turnout filled the Gonzalez family with overwhelming support and gratitude. Not only only did the love displayed for Maria show how much strangers wanted to help, but a GoFundMe was started for Carmelo to take his daughter home. It received tremendous support and surpassed the initial goal of $60,000, which means that little Maria can finally rest in a place where she is surrounded by family. Thanks for being with me these days. These tough times, you joined me. After moving to America to get a slice of the American dream, Carmelo's dream was taken from him the same day his daughter was. So it was his new dream to fly Maria back home to Guatemala for her final resting place to be around family. Not only was the GoFundMe started, but a Houston meat distributor, Meat Planet, partnered with the surrounding community to throw a barbecue. 
This was done to raise money for the Gonzalez family. Of course, the barbecue was successful and Carmela was presented with a check for $20,000. Earlier today, Houston's Meat Planet presented a check to Maria Gonzalez's father. Over the weekend, the community came together for a barbecue benefit to raise money for the family. However, the vigil and fundraisers were not the last step in honoring Maria's memory because plans are quickly underway to do more to celebrate her life. On August 23rd, 2023, a public viewing service was held at Mundo Pentecostal in Pasadena, where friends, family, and community members paid their respects. Following the service, Maria's body will be flown back to Guatemala, where she can finally rest. Well, right now, a public viewing is being held in Pasadena for Maria Gonzalez. After the viewing service, Maria's body will be flown back to Guatemala where she will be laid to rest. As the trial moved along, the entire community awaited justice for Maria. The courtroom was filled with tension as one by one, staggering evidence was presented against Juan. The gravity of what he did to Maria was revealed and the public was exposed to the torment she experienced in the last minutes of her life. Juan's guilty verdict not only determined his fate, but it also served as a stark reminder that even in the most peaceful neighborhoods, darkness can rear its ugly head. Needless to say, the case of Maria Gonzalez left lasting scars on a community forever changed. The case of Maria Gonzalez remains a heart-wrenching reminder of the vulnerability of innocent lives and the devastating impact of senseless violence. The memory of Maria will forever serve as a reminder to cherish those we love. But we should ask ourselves, what can be done to protect the most innocent among us? Leave a comment down below. Before you go, hit that like button, subscribe, and see ya in our next deep dive.